What's up guys, this is Red Eye Stardust Dragon. Today we have you the Cybernetic Horizon box opening. So, um, this set I'm not really too hyped about, but Boros Sword is in it, and my Pendulum deck has a struggle to get over big monsters, so hopefully I can pull that Boros Sword and put it in my Pendulum deck, because I don't have Boros Load yet, and I'm not going to invest in Boros Load until the Mega Tens come out, so hopefully we can get Boros Sword. Also, I wouldn't mind the dangers because I can trade them to my friend. Um, I can hypothetically trade my hypothetical dangers to my for a hypothetical board load to my friends. So shout out to you. It's all the bad gokies that don't float. I'm gonna put them up here. Full for about Goldvang. I think he's worse than Silvervang. Mirror Forge Launcher. That's a neat card. Not the best, but neat. Kind of cool. Very gimmicky, but I think it only works with the normal mirror force. Wish it didn't work with everything. The Crusadia has come out. Crossbred. I'm just reading its back. Banish two monsters from hand. I haven't seen it. Or oh, filled with. I think it's meant to work with Crusadia. Ooh, Realm of Danger. So our first Ultra. Not bad. Hopefully, there, folks, a bit. Realm of Danger. Also, wouldn't mind the Cybers cards. They're kind of nice. To my Supreme King of Armageddon and Danger Jackalope. Wait, is that a secret? No, it's an Ultra. So we have two Danger cards ready. Pretty sure he's short printed too. So that's a really nice pull. Two ultras ready. Hopefully our secrets are just as good. You see the Vanguard, I find that name really funny because I do play Vanguard. Cyber Switch and Crusadia Maximus, otherwise known as this. Mechanic Arm. Check this side. Because he does look like him. Check this side. Oh. Uh, Performing about Gold Fan. Dragoonity Senatus. I know there's a lot of Cyphers cards in the rare slot, so hopefully we can get more of the Cyphers rares. Also, the Dead Mutuals are printed in the set. Wouldn't mind them. Or whatever they're called now. Dragoonity Knight Loon and. Ooh, Pinpoint Landing. I got this in my sneak peek, so I wasn't hoping to pull it. It's quite unfortunate. Hopefully we can do better with our other secret. Oh. We have Interrupt Resistor and Crusadia Revival. Really hoping I can pull that one. Oh, sorry. Demise King of Armageddon, Supreme King of Armageddon, and Manny Dragon Semi Turon. Don't think I said that right. That last bit. Usually a bit true names, especially in Vanguard. Repro... Repro... Do... Because... I don't know. Picture that name. I saw this card in the set. It's just like... Could it replace Space Insulator? I don't think so because Space Insulator could come back. But it is very generic. Ooh, Cypher's Magician. That's very nice. Wanted him. Before I'm not good fan, we can pull the place out of them now. Wish they were some cybers instead. We read Witch's Apprentice. Don't have any of the Hipsan one. Don't know his name right now. The Light one. Light Mrs. Radiant. Because Mrs. Radiant was first to come out, so we just call them all after Mrs. Radiant. Don't know why, but we do. 
Sim, Sim Tabler, and Sky Striker Ace Hayate. It's a very nice pull that completes my set now. Put it on here. Because it is a Sky Striker card or Brandish Maiden. I really, I kind of wish they stick with Brandish Maiden to be honest. That's a really like name. Called the Note Storm Dragon. And oh no, no way. Ledger of Ledgermain. I think we pulled two of the worst secrets in the set. Oh, it's not good. I don't think we're gonna. Don't know how this opening is gonna improve. Incantation. It's not focusing. It's rares. Candor and Noble Knight Pure Noir. Just the main main box openings for me aren't good. So we're probably gonna do a lot better when a special edition comes around. Rune, Supreme King of Queen of Lily and Crusadius Crusadia Maximus. Special editions normally go more in my favour, especially with the flood one last time. Because we pulled three secrets and like six special editions, which really, really that was quite good. And they were good ones too. Laddery base. Dragon says, not the Link Frames import we wanted, but alright, I guess. We Witch says Apprentice. Give me some of the Hitsang guy. Still don't know his name right now. Reproducicus? I don't know, Crustidium? Magus, I think. Goki the Giant Ogre. Don't think he's good, especially with like still the nightmares existing. And Dragonity Senatus. Hopefully we can pull the ritual spell for the Cyber Magician. World of Legacy World Crown. And for the Kunimular Dragon. Sim Tabler, Crusadia Revival. Silent Ritual. Speaking of the Silent Ritual, oh, we got it. This is actually going to help you. I think they all have a theme where one goes into the next and the next, which is really cool. Oh, and Cyber Dragon Hurts. I think he short printed too. That's quite nice. We got two short printed Ultras. I think they single handedly hold the value of this box. Which isn't nice to know, but you have to deal with it, I guess. Ruin. And Crusadius Maximus. Pulling quite a couple of sets here. Oh, I'm putting them in the wrong set. Cyber Switch. Kind of need two of her, so that's good. World Lexi Survivor. Nice. Two more packs. Oh, we got a set of him too. Crusadia Magus. We're getting sets of like certain rares. Wish I got a couple more of the Cypress ones. Especially another Cynet Ritual. That would be quite nice. So, this is the last pack. Oh, speaking of Cynet Ritual, <laughs> get a second one. And Umbra. Umbra Rage the Elemental Lord. So, overall, I think this was one of the worst openings, considering what. Two kind of bad secret errors. Ledger isn't too bad. 
and I think the cards holding the value of this box opening are the Danger Jack Loop and Cyber Giant Hertz. So, if, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more in the future. This is Red Eye Starter Dragon, out.